So, hello everybody. Today I wanted to talk about some tips and tricks regarding time and space and universe. Now, just the time and tempo, for example. We have now in Bitwig 5 this interesting idea that you can also modulate the tempo of the project. So I was thinking a bit, what can we do with that? For example, you might have noticed in electronic music, normally there's one beat happening and this running from start to end, and there is absolutely no variation in tempo or whatsoever. But that would not be the case like a real drummer would play it. A real drummer always has a little bit of slowing down or speed speeding up. A good one, not too noticeable, but it's that what we recognize as a kind of groove. And why not try to simulate that here with this new Bitwig 5 feature? So what we can do now is on the project, the master track, there you can now add different modulators. If you click here, this little button down here, you get also now modulators for the whole project. And with this whole project modulators, you can modulate the whole mixer, but as well as a tempo. So why not introduce some random random let's type it corrected the random modulator looking at that you can do some random stuff and let's modulate the tempo not too insane let's go with something meaningful maybe around 2 bpm or even a little bit less we can first do that insane so we will straight notice that and then go down to a meaningful value so let's play back that track i just put here three parts from the bitwig library some kind which could be a verse a bridge and a chorus So you can clearly hear it speeds up and down. Sadly, you cannot see that here. Let's overdo that maybe even more. Okay, that's insane enough, but going down to meaningful value, maybe let's say, let's go about two beats. it gives a little bit of spice and icy on the cake. What a real drummer would also do is he would speed up a bit in the bridge into the chorus, play the chorus a little bit faster or even a little bit more faster and then go back to the main tempo when going back to the verse. So how can we do that? This is normal automation, but nevertheless, it's something no one really does. So we can do or try that too. So we go as well to the master track. You open up the automation and we can enlarge the automation section a bit. And here you see we have this main tempo 110. And in the bridge, we want to speed it up just a little bit in the chorus of the end of the bridge. We move a little bit just overdo this in the beginning so you can clearly hear what's happening. Okay, that's insane, but maybe let's say we want to play that a few beats faster, so maybe 116 and maybe speed it up here in a little bit of an... Yeah, so like this. We can also have this in automation editor. Can enlarge that here. And back to the normal tempo. Let's hear it again. So this gives more speed and energy and more relaxed in the verse. So that's something you should totally try and test with your song as well. You can also try this on a finished mix just to speed up the chorus a little bit and keep the others a little bit slower. Something else, if you create a new project, I guess you also have a kind of default project. I have also a tutorial about this. What should be in a default project? For example, I have all my hardware connected here and ready to go if I want to. But also you notice you have a specific tempo set and also a specific time signature. 
if you check your ideas one to 100, you might not be too surprised that most of them are especially exactly in that tempo and time signature. So what I'm doing regularly is just to change that. So I had it for quite some time now on tempo 78 and I have now quite some songs in the tempo of 78. But now I changed it last week to 110 and only have two new songs in 110. But the same should be done for the time signatures. Oh, most of the songs are always written in 4.4. I want to try a 5.4. And if you think, oh man, that's not a kind of pop song or something someone wants to listen to, just for example, take Salisbury Hill by Peter Gabriel. It's in 5-4 and it's actually pretty simple to do. So if we just try it's a very simple beat, you could go with uh, one bang, bang, boom, bang, bang. And just if you have no idea what to do here, let's do something like this. Adjust the loop and let's give this a listen. And then you can add and experiment with all your normal instruments. Also, if you want to go with 4 why not introduce one or two bars with a different time signature just to surprise the listener, even if a techno song or an EDM song, just try a few bars with something different just to surprise people and get them out of their usual habit. That's it already for this week. I hope you get some new ideas and experiment with this and with this new time and time signature. Make some funky music. <laughs>